And I can tell you that because I was around during In the Kitchen with David today when we debuted these for the first time, the 2,500 of these skillets were ordered, wow. Chef. Wow. No now, one told me. We should call you <laughs> Cast Iron Chef. Why not? Because you Why bring not? beautiful cast iron to QVC. And this is the new and improved version of yes. the 8, the 10, and the 12 inch skillet. And they're shiny and, and glossy. They're glossy. They're right Look at here. that. How beautiful Look they at are. These, they're beautiful. Come over here and we'll talk to you about colors. And if that mirror finish is blinding you, there's a reason for that. <laughs> it's on purpose. When we did these the first go round, they were more of a matte finish. Now, they were best sellers. One of the first items you ever presented on QVC was yes. your cast iron skillet. These are all non stick, but you're choosing either a 12, a 10, or an 8 inch skillet. Now, the colors that you're choosing from will be Zakarian blue. You see it here, gorgeous. You also have it in black. We have cool gray, and we have cranberry. And what was that? Oh, and, and let's count down. Uh, okay, the cool gray in the 8 inch, I have 400 left. In the 10 inch, we have 550. And the 12 inch, they're only 400. You're also going to get this silicone sleeve that goes over the cast iron. Now, cast iron dates back, Chef, to the Old West when they were cooking over open flame, right? The wild, wild West with the horses, and, you know, they carried them on. And there were a lot campfire. of things that we had to do with cast iron, Correct. like season it. You can never use acidic things inside. You had to no be very, water. Very careful. No water in this. No, be careful how you wash it. But this is non stick cast iron. And I should grab one of the pans and show everybody yeah. that this has the non stick, your non stick yes. finish on the inside. And also, why don't you rattle that so they really know. Yeah, this is. That is. Dinner. Dinner. And with that's, David and Chef Zulu Zakarian. That's cast iron. And we put this incredible, non toxic, non chemical. Uh, Nonstick and look at this. Okay, these are eggs and bacon. I like to cook them together because why not? And then I mean, why not cook the eggs in the bacon? The beauty fat? of this is, can you see that? Okay. Wipe out. And we don't have to do that, but we're gonna cook some more eggs because I love eggs. And notice there's no oil in that pan. You can put oil or butter for flavor, but you don't have to. That's but the you don't need it for nonstick. Of cast right? iron, so no seasoning. Seasoning means you put salt and rubber with oil, like your grandma. You told me that story. Yeah. But you don't have to do any of that, and you don't have to hide them. Now, it's important to know you're going to get four of Chef's recipe cards, complete with photos yes. and the step by step guide. And here are said recipe cards. Now, the skillet s'more dip. You made this for me many I times. Did. You can do that in the cast iron skillet because it's beautifully done. This is the, skill, uh, the skillet s'more dip. Then we have the pan roasted pork chops with the broccoli and the chimichurri sauce. Delish. Oh, delish. Now, help me with this. This is fig clafouti. That which sounds is, French. Which is basically almond, egg, a little bit of flour, and cream. And you just fill up a tart and you put the figs in it and you cook it. It's almost like a, a very quick tart. It's called the And then finally, your sweet and sour glazed duck with Chinese style bok choy. Very easy. Duck is one of those things people avoid because they think, oh my God, I don't know how to cook a duck. Is it well done? Is it Pekin duck? Is it crispy duck? What mm -hmm. is it? But it's very easy to do. Now, one of the things that you use this pan for as the base and your wedge inserts, uh, your silicone insert, are these beautiful cornbread scones. Cornbread, biscuits, anything like that. It's really fantastic. And it's metal, stainless steel inside, so it doesn't buckle. You can put it in the dishwasher. Everything I make, you can put it in the dishwasher. And this is something that you can easily make. And we're going to make it as part of our Easter dinner Yes, table. we are. So let's go All over right. here. We have well, our eggs, right? Right. We're gonna do a steak. So steak needs that. That is called a char. Steak needs char. If you don't have char, don't bother. Well, and the technical term for it is the Maillard effect, right? Maillard effect, but that makes everything, that turns actually the protein and the fat into sugar. And that's and what we like. And it adds a layer of flavor. Huge, and then we have But onions. it also leaves flavor in the skillet. First thing you ever cooked for me, chef, was a steak. I know, look at this. So I've just, this is no, there's no fat in here other than the fat from the uh, steak. I put so some no onions, butter in there? No, I, uh, onions, shallot, some rosemary, and I'm gonna add some of my wine. Some of the spring wine, this is the red blend. This is the red blend, we're just gonna let that bubble away. Add maybe a half a tablespoon of butter. That will serve almost two people. It's, it's very, you know, steak is very rich. Mm. And I think we, we, we want these gigantic steaks for one, and then you end up taking it home over two days. Now we're going to be speaking about oh. a, a strip steak coming up, a New York strip steak coming up, a sirloin steak that is super, super thick and USDA prime dry prime. aged. Prime. It's yes. a very, very special it steak is from the, your friends at Happy to Meet You. Yes, it's the Cadillac of steak. This is steak I serve in my restaurant. It's the best steak you can, money can buy. This is it. And but, uh, that's not it, but that's it's not the one it. we're, we're going to show have you coming up. Uh, let's talk a little bit about cooking steak. Sure. Now, do, before you cook it, do you let it come to room temp? 100%. A lot of 
mistakes are made before you cook, right? Mm. So it's like in a golf, you gotta get the grip right, the stance before you actually hit the ball. Sure. Same for cooking. Steak and all proteins should be outside of the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Okay. So they get tempered, they get room temperature. So if you cook a cold steak in a hot pan and it looks good <clears throat> and you think it's good, it's very gray on the outside and raw inside. Uh. And that's what happens. This yeah. way, it's medium rare to medium rare, top to bottom. Now, you also have tomato sauce in this tomato, bolognese. Because it doesn't matter with non-stick cast iron. With this non-stick cast iron, you get all the properties of cast iron, all of the even heating and heat distribution, but none no. of the dangers that we had to no, avoid and before, what I, right? what I do with bolognese is at the very end, when it's ready to serve, I put a little fresh wine in. Oh, do you? Why? Yes, I cooked, I, I cooked the wine out in the beginning, and a little fresh wine in at the very end, because you have that beautiful fresh flavor of the grape. And it really comes through. It's a little uh, bit of acid, not from the tomato. You know what that reminds me of? Your friend of mine, Chef David Burke, before he serves soup in his restaurant, he swirls butter into the no, <laughs> Of course he does. Because it creates yes. this flavor profile. Now, you're adding a little butter, a, butter. a knob of butter to this no. sauce. Not because we need it. No. But notice I, sick, we, what we want it for flavor. I didn't put stock in here. I could, but why? You have all this beautiful juice. This is the, the, the fond. The fond is the stuff that melts off the steak. Mm. The fond and a little bit of this butter and the red wine, and it's, look how glorious that looks. That's the, that's it, it's done. And I'm gonna show you what we do. We're just gonna take this, and we're and gonna pour it right, right the over steak. the steak. Can you get over here and of get course. a little shot yes, here? Of course, yes sir. Look at that. Let's get a shot of that beautiful pan sauce going over the steak, because that's money. That's money. restaurant quality right there. That's fire. But the second shot is the pan that I cooked the steak in. Let's wipe it out. Let's wipe it out. And this is cast iron. This doesn't happen with normal cast iron. You cannot do that. You cannot have acid. You cannot have tomato pro <laughs> I'm talking. That's cast iron. <laughs> you can I'm have just tomato. I'm what you're talking about, Chef. I know you like You can't it have tomato. Hey, can I just review colors before we wrap up? And let's remind you it's either a 12, a 10, or a, an 8 inch. And 600 orders are already gone. You have Zakarian Blue. We have black, we have the gray. The gray is getting limited in all three sizes. And then finally the cranberry. And you do get the silicone sleeve in the gray color. And I'm gonna walk the scones over to the table.